Welcome everyone to this month's session of Spiritual Questions Answered with Cody Cat. And tonight, our topic for the month is How Evil Spirits Adapt to Modern Life. Okay, so um, I'll be sharing a little of um, on this topic and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask using the chat function or to, to speak. And um, um, if you don't know me, my name is Kat. I'm the co-founder of Colicat. You can uh, Google us our website. Uh, we have a YouTube channel where these uh, recordings of our talks will be uploaded to. Okay, so basically Cordelia, um, Cody, Cody is, Cody is my wife. I'm Kat, we are Cody Kat, and we've been doing um, providing services and consultancy and also services and teaching. Okay, related to spirituality and energy, subtle energy since 2010. Okay, uh, so that's just a very brief one. And uh, let's get to the topic. Okay, so tonight we have a very interesting topic because um, 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 so we help people with all these um, spiritual emergency, we help people deal with um, evil spirits, black magic that kind of thing. And I noticed that um, when I speak to people, you know, a lot of people don't seem to understand that evil spirits have adapted to modern life all right so um the, the way people think they they will get evil spirits is kind of still the old tech way you know, the old way so um i'm here all right to update people how evil spirits have adapted to modern life okay so first of all we probably need to talk about like uh, in the good old days you know um and uh, what happens how do evil spirits affect people in the good old days and what are people used to um, knowing about evil spirits affecting um, people all right so i think um, most people know that usually evil spirits they're kind of like um usually you know um, some people will so we're all you know uh, humans right and then they are spirits invisible amongst us and there'll be good spirits and evil spirits and of course uh, our we we we're we not concerned with the good spirits right we are we are concerned when they are evil spirits and usually evil spirits kind of reveal themselves all right and from what we read from ancient texts scriptures and everything we we read about people being possessed yes and they act weird that kind of thing and we kind of have an idea how um, how people get possessed, get affected by evil spirits, that kind of thing. And usually, you know, it's kind of like um, there's a person, and the person maybe, all right, maybe the person has uh, evil spirit that is inside him, inside inside him or her, or an evil spirit that is attached, all right. So. Uh, uh, evil spirit that may be attached to the person and following the person around or maybe one or more all right one or more entities evil spirits all right maybe with the person inside the person around the person attached to the person and usually um, the more dramatic cases that we know of is when the spirit is inside the person possess the person and then take over the person and the person do a lot of uh, funny stuff all right funny and weird things well this is uh, one of the ways that we we learn about evil spirits and um, there's another way where evil spirits affect people okay um, and usually it is when the evil spirits are in items all right um, those of you who have watched like um, the horror movies right you all have heard of um, um, I can't remember which movie, okay, I don't really watch a lot, but um, for example, evil spirits that are in objects, all right? So um, one of those famous ones is like, I uh, can't remember which movie, like um, the Warrens, right? The Warrens, they do a lot of investigation and apparently they have a home and uh, uh, they found that a lot of toys and dolls, a lot of toys and dolls have evil spirits attached to them. All right, so so one of the ways is evil spirits are attached to people. Um, other than other than that, it's like to items. So, firstly, people. 
So uh, number two is items. So the items could be something very innocent like a doll. All right. So you got the warrants and uh, there are movies about that about uh, dolls with like their evil spirits and whoever um, brings the doll home, strange things happen. Is the doll is cursed? And not just cursed, like kind of haunted, right? It can be dolls. Um, they are, they are, for example, um, in different societies, different cultures, uh, people, they are practitioners, like dark practitioners, whereby they keep, all right, they keep spirits, the evil spirits inside containers, all right, inside a box. So I think the Americans have the book box and all kinds of things. Some people keep it in bottles. So it can, there can be evil spirits in items and people bring them home. Usually it's dolls, idols. Right, dolls, idols, that kind of thing. And of course, you've got a very famous one that people, most people know about is haunted uh, homes. Right, haunted homes, houses, um, or you can say places, right, evil spirits. Um, so the famous uh, places like graveyards, hospitals, uh, where a lot of people died, right? These are the, these are the common, uh, good old um, ways where evil spirits seem to, to stay around and affect people, right? These are the usual uh, things that we know since uh, that we read from books and everything and even scripture and all these go back, you know, at least decades and uh, maybe centuries and even like a few thousand years back, right? Those are the kind of stories, people, items, homes, places. Um, did I miss out anything? Does anyone know of anything like the good old ways whereby evil spirits um, affect the world or affect people? Yes, these are the standard ways that they affect people. All right. And now we live in a very different time. We live in a very different time. Uh, we are now in the year 2022. Oh, Alvin asked a very good question. Do evil spirits reside in religious places? Yeah, including religious places, right? Including religious places. It depends whether the, how, um, um, this, this is a sensitive topic, all right? Uh, religious places. So if it depends whether the religious place, the people who go there, they are are they spiritual enough? Are they religious enough? Are they very connected to light? Then the place of religion will be good. But there are also a re, a places whereby it's not so good. And uh, I believe some of you are very sensitive, and we also train people, right? Uh, we teach people in Hinity healing, train people to do the work that we do, train people to sense energies. And I can tell you, like not all temples are of light, not. All temples they have spirits of light okay so it's, it's not a it's not so simple thing so these places would include even um, religious places because religious places like nowadays you talk about religion religion is really on the decline uh, is there anyone who doubt that religion is on the decline yes um, um, religion as in traditional religion the, the, the main religion that's really going up today I believe is the religion of money all right stuff like that religion of money is kind of going up but the good old religion you know um um christianity buddhism hinduism uh islam right this is what we uh these are the four big religions on earth um they are kind of on the decline and the real practitioners with the real knowledge right practitioners with real knowledge about this kind of stuff is getting less and less so there are less and less people who know uh, how to maintain a religious place of worship. And if they don't know how to maintain and the, the, the knowledge is lost, because if you are into like Buddhism and Taoism, they need to know how to, for example, do uh, in Chinese what we call Kai Kuang, to invoke the, the divine presence onto the idols. If you don't know how to do it, the idol is just an idol. The idol is just, it's just like a an object but if the spirit of the divine right the good spirits are not inside then anything can be in, can go inside and people will pray and will evil spirits reside in religious places yes they will 
right? Why do they do that? Now, for example, let's let's consider a a temple that whereby let's say the guardians, uh, the people, the caretakers of the temple, um, the knowledge has been lost. They don't know how to maintain that the temple. They don't know how to kai guang or invoke divine presence and maintain the light in the temple. And what happens? So the energy becomes the light becomes dimmer and dimmer. Yes, and then the light gets snuffed out and the idols where people pray to. Physically, the idols may be of Buddha or of the Taoist deities and everything, but you don't know what is the energy, the spirit that's inside, is it good or bad? And the evil spirits, all right, evil spirits, they traditionally, they also go to these religious places. They will enter the, the idol hoping that people will pray to them. All right, hoping that people will pray to them. This is one of the, the tricks that uh, evil spirits do. So the evil spirits hope that people will pray to them. And if you pray to them, it's like you are asking something from them, right? Uh, especially in today's world or even since, uh, since olden days, people pray for money, right? People pray, especially for money kind of thing. And you pray and the evil spirit, like, okay, you're asking me for something. I need to take a price from you. All right. There is a price for whatever you're asking and I want your energy. So the spirit will take energy and they kind of have permission because we are asking them a favor. Even though you don't know whether what you're thinking, you, you're assuming you're praying to Buddha, but the spirit inside may not be Buddha. It may not be the Taoist deity or whichever God or deity you think it is. Because you, we only recognize, most normal humans, we only recognize the form. All right, this, this is a little sensitive topic and I, yeah, some religions, they, they, they do warn, you know, um, don't pray to idols and everything because the idol is just a representation. You have no idea whether the spirit in it is good or not. And I kind of agree to a certain degree, um, but for us, we know how to read energy. So we know for us is uh, before I pray, um, I make sure I'm praying to the right thing. And if I do pray, Okay, this is just uh, this is quite important. So if you're talking about places of worship, if you do pray, you need to make it very clear. You are only asking this particular divine or God and you're asking nobody else. All right, so um, um, I have always, somehow, whenever I pray, I, I've always very specific because I come from Buddhist background. So I was very specific. I tried to chant the mantra that is associated with the divine that I'm praying to, I chant the mantra, all right, and I make sure I'm addressing in my heart, right? I tell myself I am only asking that particular divine, and I don't, you know, I'm not asking whatever is in the idol, I'm asking that particular divine which man, whose mantra I chanted, all right, and I'm being very specific. So that is a safe way because the good spirits, the divine, they will not take any energy from you, they will not exact a price, there is no price to pay. All right, you don't sign as like a contract with the devil, that kind of things. But uh, the evil spirits do do that. Okay, so they, they do affect um, places of worship. So anyway, so this is a traditionally how people um, are affected by evil spirits. And we've read about it and the stories were passed down from, from maybe thousands, hundreds and decades ago. This is the way, okay? Evil spirits are with people, with items, with homes and with places. All right, but now, we live in a very different world, modern world. And um, and myself, I'm feeling a little bit troubled because I think the evil spirits are spreading faster because of technology. All right. Most people, the doesn't understand that evil spirits can spread through modern technology because it's as if evil spirits are something that are very old, you know, you, you think that they are very old kind of thing and they are stuck in their, their times. But no, actually evil spirits have adapted to modern life and they are spreading via technology very fast. Okay, so um, those of you who have heard about us, I. I often say that uh, we started because of Cordelia and Cordelia wrote a story of her 
um, her trials, right? She wrote a memoir, Possessed from Darkness to Light. And um, uh, in it, she actually talked about herself getting possessed, all right? And what actually happened, okay, she didn't make it quite clear in the book, but I'm not wrong, um, is she tried to, she could, um, Cordelia had a Kundalini awakening, and she was trying to understand all the changes going on with her because she was a normal person. And after having a very strong Kundalini awakening or many awakenings, she started to have psychic abilities and she started to be able to see spirits, hear spirits and all those kind of things. So she was getting freaked out and she tried to ask about it by going onto forums and, and you know, go forums and ask and try to be behind and, and alias Right, so they cannot be traced back to her, us, and find out what what's the thing that's happening to her. And she actually caught a spirit from someone that is in the forum whereby she was asking questions from. All right, and it seems that she private messaged a person. All right, she private messaged a person, and the person has some probably have some evil spirit. She didn't feel nice when she was private messaging the person. And after that, she was affected. All right, she started to feel, you know, to show signs of seeing shadows and that kind of things. And eventually she realized she actually got it from this person from an online forum. All right, so, but essentially, essentially, even though there is technology involved, it is because that person is it still come from a person. It's just that people, most people nowadays, they don't realize it can spread from people through technology. This is what I'm trying to say. So what a lot of people think is like in the good old days, you need to meet up with people, right? You need to meet up with people physically and then the entity the evil spirit can hop onto you from a person that you meet up physically, or you need to get an item, an item that you hold it in your hand physically, or you need to go to a place or home physically to be affected. But I'm trying to share with everyone, I've got so many clients right now, all right, that they are not getting affected by this in person or you need to that way anymore it is a lot of people are being affected through technology and that was something that happened to Cordelia. all right so a person through technology managed to contact her and you you'll be wondering how does this happen they didn't even meet face to face so how does that happen yes there must be your question so I always tell people this, um, we can be connected across space and time, connected by energy across space. People don't realize this. All right, but anyone who's an energy sensitive, they will be able to verify what I'm saying. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, if you are energy sensitive, or some people call themselves psychic or empath, right? Especially if you're psychic or empath, you will realize that if you're having a conversation using technology, all right, and you are not meeting the person face to face, you could be just chatting over uh, an app using your mobile phone, using your computer, using your um, notebook or using uh, whatever all the devices that they are, right? And you find yourself connected by energy to the person across space because you can feel the person's emotions as you are chatting with the person or as you're having a video conference with the person, uh, or as right now you're having a Zoom, and maybe you can feel me, all right? In fact, I did, um, last month we did this uh, 
uh, how to raise vibrations and energy and I ask you to connect to me after I raise my vibrations or before I raise my vibrations, right? Uh, most of you could, those of you who are empath or psychic or have some ability, you could connect to me, but when I raise my own vibrations, you cannot connect to me anymore. All right, so did you realize that was being done and being enabled by technology? We are not even here in the same physical location, but it's enabled by technology because you and I are able to see each other. We are able to connect with each other, have a conversation. You'll be able to hear me, all right? Or have it a word conversation, text message. And we are able to get connected across space and time. And often these type of things happen. For example, how many of you, uh, please raise your hands if you experience this. How many of you ever had this happen to you? You think of a person and then the very same person calls you on the phone. Can you please raise your hand if you've had this experience? No one? Have you ever had this experience? All of you are too shy. Yes, thank you, James. Xiaofang, yes. Right? I bet most of you have had this experience. You think of the person and then the person calls you. Yvon says all the time, yes. Now what's happening over here? What is happening is, he says yes, thank you, all right? So it actually happens to many people or practically everyone, right? You think of the person and the other, the, the person actually calls you. But actually what is happening is that person is thinking of you. That person is thinking of you and because that person is thinking of you, that person is connected to you across space by energy. That person connects to you by energy across the space and it's a direct connection to you. And because the person connects to you, right, you think of that person because the energy connection reminds you of the other person. So you think of that person. Because that person needs to think of you and then make a call. Meanwhile, right? So let's say this person is thinking of you. All right, this person is thinking of you. But when this person thinks of you, energy will connect to you. Meanwhile, the phone, the phone signal, the phone signal needs to go to the phone tower, needs to grab through the uh, transatlantic cable, computer servers and everything or go through satellite and then go through the cell tower and then go into the phone in this hand, right? It's a long way, but the energy connection, energy connection is direct. The person think of you, huh? you are connected, all right? And the, the longer you stay connected, the stronger the energy connecting you all will be. This is what is happening. So um, that is why if this is you, the other person think of you, the energy connects you across space and time, and then they make the call. The call takes a, a longer while to get routed through technology than only the phone rings, but the energy connects to you directly. Then your phone rings, all right? This is, Yes, like Yvon says, every time I reach out to someone, I always hear them say, I was just thinking of you. Yeah, it's because you think of them first and your energy, this person think of you, the energy has this person and you will think of this person, but actually the person has already made a call and then the call comes through. This happens all the time. Okay, now, what people don't realize is, and then you stay on the call, as you stay on the call, the energy that is connecting the both of you gets stronger and stronger. And guess what? The evil spirit from one person goes to another person following the energy connection. Or enabled by technology. Because technology will help connect people together. 
and the energy connection will be stronger or and they will just follow the energy trail and you get affected and it is getting more and more rampant because uh, this is what what we see now um, in the old days in the old days people need to meet each other they need to be at the same location but nowadays nowadays is what's happening okay now in the good old days you know in the good old days when people write letters it takes months and weeks it takes months and weeks and it's like the person think of this person and they send a letter the letter goes by train goes by ship it takes months and weeks to reach the other person the energy connection is so weak right it doesn't maintain strong because there's no constant communication so the evil spirits cannot follow the energy trail and affect the other person because you just think of the person and go and then the energy trail disappears right because you think of a while only but if you're having a conversation to and fro the energy connection remains strong and the spirits can go to and fro you all get what i mean this is what's happening but in the good days wasn't like that in the good days you need people to meet up because sending like even sending a telegram you know the first time that mankind had a really fast way of communicating was by telegram to send a telegram you need to go to the telegram office you know what telegram is like moscow you know and then you will go to and then they send telegram to a telegram office and then they deliver and it's usually short messages those that was really fast already but before that it's all like this you need to meet the person but in today's modern world it's being enabled like this okay and how else are they so we want to talk about these people to people transmission so one thing is technology okay and technology is the person to person messaging um uh messaging on the phone and nowadays you have like now we're having a zoom call all right a, a zoom meeting all right in zoom meeting what's happening is one person one person to many one to many yes one to many Oh, you guys better be careful, right? So if I'm the one with evil spirits, you guys are in trouble. <laughs> you get what I mean? All right, because you may not be here with me at my place, but if I have evil spirits with me, all the evil spirits will be following the energy connection to go to you. And some of you know that because some of you are so sensitive, you can feel, you, you know that your energy connected to us you're energetically connected to a person you can feel the person's emotions right have you have you right some of you are, have you been so sensitive that you could feel the other person's emotions when they maybe they are very sad and you you're also crying when they are sharing their sad story you get what i mean you can feel it so this is happening right now and a lot of people they are um they could get evil spirits just by attending just by attending like this a zoom talk and people don't understand why so it's like you know sometimes i have clients that they're asking me i'm like dude it's so difficult to trace where the spirits evil spirits come from because it's like it's so easy to get them now all right so now if, you, if you're getting it from people you can get it being enabled by technology all right enabled by technology and this is like impersonal communication okay let's talk about in terms of technology what would replace items okay what would replace items so the modern the modern version of items would be stuff like websites, 
media, you know, media like videos that we watch, websites, uh, media, um, what else? As um, modern oh yeah okay i think it's good enough websites medium um uh, um like modern technology kind of thing like uh, for example dvds right so they are kind of like items but we associate it with like technology okay what happens so in the good old days the spirits will reside in the items like the haunted dolls haunted boxes all right, uh, a bottle that maybe has a trapped genie or trapped evil spirit inside and someone unknowingly opened the bottle and the evil spirit comes out. Uh, but nowadays, what do evils, what are evil spirits capable of? Now, they, evil spirits may not, may not be present in websites or the media or the DVDs, okay? So I put it down and maybe some of you are like, <gasps> Does it mean that my DVD is haunted? Does it mean the media is haunted? And it can even be programs. You know, something you watch on streaming service. All right, it could be a TV program, something. Um, something can happen. Now, what actually happens? Now, some of the evil spirits, they... They watch us evolve and use things in modern life and they try to figure out now essentially spirits they are just energy all right they are consciousness with energy yeah, and we're talking about the sinister ones the bad ones so we call them the evil spirits so they they kind of understand that whole oh, you know nowadays the humans are watching all these websites, media, and everything. And these websites, media, DVDs, programs, all right, they're, they're not something physical that they will go inside and stay and wait for an unsuspecting victim to pick them up. But what they can do is they can leave some, some of their energy on these things. So what some of these evil spirits have been doing is they leave some some energy in websites, in media, media as in like even videos, YouTubes, um, Facebook videos, TikTok videos, they have some, they can leave their energies there. And what's gonna happen on uh, DVD so that when you watch a, a movie, a, a program, um, programs I'm referring to like um, streaming services, now these things are being streamed, right? Um, so those that are streamed, now they can leave their energy there. And when we watch, when we watch and we read websites, what happens? We open up our energy and receive all these things. Oh yeah. Um, music, all right, music, TV, whatever, all this. All right, when people are, um, consuming now it's a consumer world right they are consuming these things um, in in greater amounts than ever yes and they are more and more being more and more enabled by new technology so what the evil, evil spirits do is they put the energy in this and because they know they notice that when we watch or listen to music and programs or we read websites watch videos what happens is we we take it in all the energy that comes from these type of substances. We take in the energy with like welcome. We welcome it. We take it all in. So when they put their energy into this type of stuff and we take it in, we are kind of marked. We are kind of marked. So we are kind of marked as in they know where to find us now. They know that we would welcome them or we like certain stuff. All right. And they will follow the energy trail to find us. And it's kind of like whatever they put inside here, it's kind of like a poison pill. It's kind of like a poison pill. Usually because 
Um, for us humans, we are, we are supposed to have... For us humans, I always tell people, we are supposed to have uh, invisible aura and chakras to protect us. All right? Chakras and auras to protect us. And it will protect us from evil spirits in general, especially if you are positive people, right? Positive people. Um, but when we watch all these things, we kind of open up our energy, open up our aura, open, uh, let our chakras kind of let it pass because we want it so much. We want to listen to the music, yeah, and then we're going to dance, we're going to groove to the music, yes, and then we, we are just like watching the horror movie or whatever movie, they go, oh, everything is going in. So the energy goes in, it's kind of like poison pill, and the poison pill is usually dark energy, right? There's some poison pill, dark energy inside, it goes inside us and we take it in and it makes us, because it's some dark energy, it causes us to be easily angry and we will weaken our lives. We are always, if you ever notice, you know, some of these things, especially if you're watching stuff which are dark in nature, which promotes anger, which promotes, uh, which promotes distrust, Right, which promotes um, disobedience, uh, which promotes uh, hatred, anger, fear. So all, especially all those stuff that have those type of things, and even stuff that don't have those type of things, they can input some negative energy. We take it in, and it will contaminate. It will paint our light such that our light can no longer protect us. There will be holes in our aura. And then the evil spirits will come. They weaken us first. They weaken us by feeding, putting some of their negative energies in there. We consume these products and then we get affected. So pay attention. If you notice yourself becoming more and more negative after consuming certain things. Right? So consuming doesn't mean eat. Uh. After you listen to certain music, watch certain TV programs. Uh, I've got clients, for example, they watch TV programs that are about evil spirits or that glorify, uh, that glorify evil spirits, the devil, that kind of thing, or that's violent. And they find that after that, strange things started to happen and um, they have evil spirits and it's traced to consuming this type of stuff. There are people who like to visit uh, websites that talk about hatred and anger and distrust, right? Spreading um, those kind of news, uh, mistruths, that kind of stuff, and they also get affected. All right, so this is what is happening. And this is the modern equivalent of the items which can carry evil spirits, but it's not really the evil spirits in there. All right, it's not the evil spirits in there, but there is the energy from these evil spirits. They will affect, it will be like a poison pill, and the evil spirits will come after that. Because you will have been marked, maybe you have been marked like, you know, um, there will be a marking on the person, kind of like a marking. Or a marking. The energy goes, it marks you, you belong to this spirit, and the spirit will find you because this will be like a beacon. It will be like a beacon, all right, broadcasting a signal and energy across space and a gang, maybe a gang of evil spirits which are, which, you know, there may be a gang of evil spirits, right, which will hunt for this signature because you have been marked and they will come for you. So this is something that um, I'm seeing happening right here, right now. And um, of course, you still have this uh, modern people's homes, they still get affected. So normally they affect people and then they will affect homes. But the homes, uh, you know, it's still kind of traditional, right? Um, places, yes. But the main problem is the technology because technology is connecting people with energy. So you, you, can, you can have like a haunted place or place with evil spirits and a program is being live streamed 
from that place. A program is being live streamed from that place. And if the program is being live streamed from that place, and everyone is watching and consuming, let's say, a live, a live feed. The problem is when people are consuming stuff, we open up our energy. This is the biggest problem. And some of these evil spirits, they have figured out, they have it figured out already, that this is our weakness in the modern world. So what they are doing is, they are affecting um, people. So what, how the evil spirit has kind of adapted is they kind of look for people like this. This kind of person whereby uh, in today's world, uh, we call it influencers. One person can reach out to millions of people. They affect this one person, this person do a live stream, do a uh, YouTube video, do a podcast, right? And through one person, they affect many people. This is what is happening. All right. So, um, and um, I find that this is something that uh, I think modern people need to understand. The world is no longer the same. All right. Information is being spread fast because of technology. What is information? Information is essentially energy. What are evil spirits? Evil spirits are essentially also energy. They are con energies with consciousness that are malevolent, that are evil. And as they understand how mankind have evolved technologically, they have, un they have come to realize how we consume modern technological products and offerings. They are riding the same wave and they are spreading faster than ever. No more do you need to meet in person or go to a particular space or take out a a particular item and um, oh actually books <laughs> even books because everything they can put energy in it so um, I'm I, I don't want uh, I don't want people to kind of like freak out but this is more like something I hope to educate people about because um, sometimes people ask me and I'm just like look it's so common Anything can happen now because the, the spirits have figured out, have figured out and come to understand how we consume products and they don't necessarily directly have to affect us in a person to person visit. All right. In a very simple call a connection that is enabled by technology such that there is energy connecting us across space and time or like a zoom call one to many, a live feed. Okay, anything that they're consuming, people who watch programs, who watch a DVD, a YouTube, all right, even read books, there will be some energy there that will weaken us, kind of like poison pill, and then it marks us and they come. All right, this is something that's happening, um, and I just want to share it with people so that um, I don't have to answer my clients so many times, you know, that they didn't get it from someone or from an item or from a particular place all right i find it <laughs> uh, you know to try and explain this is it's not easy and uh, i think it will help to have this video so it will be uploaded and uh, next time people ask me i'll just you know um please take a look at this uh, recording all right so uh, if you guys have uh, questions about this please feel free to ask we have some time i will go through your questions and comments Okay, so um, Edwin asked a very good question. Is there any firewall or way to block the evil spirit to connect to the second party? I think um, like through technology or like this. So um, there is already a natural firewall and it's this light. This light is our aura, our chakras. So um, I always tell people this, uh, people who learn from us, people who are clients, uh, anyone who's my client, uh, you, you would know me, I know I just want to do cleansing and healing for you once if you are affected by evil spirit. And I hope that you don't become my client ever again, because I will try to tell you, look, now we have an online platform whereby we're teaching people stuff like light meditation, right, Unity Qigong, right, and we also provide a, a monthly free kids 
free healing session, sound healing by Cordelia. All right, so uh, you can maintain yourself. You can learn our methods here. Yeah. Uh, these light meditation, unity chico. We also have non-attachment meditation. These are our internal practices whereby we strengthen our so-called firewall or light wall. All right, we have this barrier of light that protects us. All right, so we we, we strengthen it right through the practice of light meditation and unity qigong ourselves and also non-attachment meditation and we we also share with people um if we are good people if we are good people if we are kind right this also helps us all right and the the evil spirits they are not just um adapting to modern life it's not just about technology all right they have also noticed one thing modern life has a lot of yes can you tell that modern consumption, a lot of it is based on greed, power, lust, um, um, also some laziness, sloth, all right, Christians would call it sloth. And they take advantage of this because they notice that humans consume a lot of stuff that are related to this. And these are the stuff whereby it's easiest easiest for them to put their energies into because these stuff are all right they are linked to sins and uh, negativity right their energies are negative in nature and the people who speak right there are people who are influencers and the influencers are maybe into greed into get rich quick kind of um thing all right and normally get rich quick is associated with sloth because when you get rich quick it means that you are lazy you're not willing to work hard for the results right or people are into power right uh, the greed and power comes together and of course in modern times entertainment there's a lot of lust right there's a lot of flesh um i mean it, it's a personal choice kind of thing but if we are very honest the, the last part is it's kind of dark because you know um it's not like healthy love kind of relationship kind of you know I love you I, and I want to make love to you kind of thing but it's really last it's because it's you get what I mean there is a darker side to it so there's a lot of this sort of stuff and they realize our world is like that and they would of course the easiest to affect are people like this right influencers who are into all these uh, negative values so um, over here we, we teach people to be of good values to be of kind and our natural firewall will be there okay I hope that answers uh, Edwin's question. James is saying, yes, Telegram are still used in finance systems to record a transaction because there are, there are hundreds of years of legal precedents that make it hold more water in court than emails. Okay, interesting. And Edwin says, how to cleanse the modern items from evil spirits? Oh, okay, that's it. Um, so modern items... Um, so normal people don't know how to cleanse, all right? Don't know how to cleanse, but if you, if you want to apply the same analogy, all right, can we apply what mankind have been doing since the old days? In, in the old days, we have some item that is uh, cursed, all right? You will probably need a person to pray over it, to do some chanting that's related to religious mantras and that kind of thing. So similar can be done for these type of things, just that people never think of it. All right, just that people never think of it because it's like, hey, these things are nothing wrong. These are just consumables. These are the things that we entertain ourselves with, that we fill our time with, that we pass time with. We never think of that as something, possibly be something that, you know, get us into trouble with evil spirits. But the thing is, evil spirits has evolved with the times because not many people are transacting physical items anymore. We are consuming all this in greater amounts of time 
and volume than ever before. So if you want to know, look, so we can still do the same traditional methods, the praying, the chanting and everything, but we need to, we need to open our mind. And this is what this sharing is about. We need to open our mind and understand that spirits no longer just affect physical items, they affect digital products too. Digital products too, all right? Consumables too. And if you want, you can use the same kind of method, you pray over it and everything, okay? It can still work. Or, you know, we do kind of our own energy healing and cleansing kind of way, uh, under infinity healing, so kind of energy healing. It can work, all right? And like James say, um, kind of like a computer virus. Yeah, this uh, um, poison pill thing kind of look like computer virus. So Edwin is asking again, will you suggest for one to run in safe mode, i.e. no TV, social media practice, light strengthening activities to prevent modern evil spirits? Wow. Um, even I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still consume some of this stuff. But my emphasis is, you know, um, like I said, um, we teach people how to strengthen our light through light meditation, unity qigong, and also practicing becoming a good person. And I would also advise people if you're consuming this sort of stuff, um, try not to be so attached, so hit on it long, you know, your whole entire self into it and you just open up. Um, uh, we, we practice what we call non-attachment. So there's a, we teach people non-attachment meditation. We try to not be so attached so that the energies don't affect us so much. So these are some of the things that we do ourselves. But if you, do I recommend going to safe mode um, and avoid consuming this sort of stuff? Um, the truth is uh, they call it like digital detox, right? Nowadays they call it like di digital detox. And if you get off social media and people feel good, have you ever wondered why? Right? Have, you, have you heard of people who say they get off the internet, get off social media, and they feel much better? All right, and of course they associate it with the normal level of negativity that's on social media. And I'm just sharing with you guys what I know. The level of negativity that's on social media, in all these consumables, is not just negativity from human beings alone, because the evil spirits have adapted to modern life. Right, the negativity that's also on social media in a digital format is also due to such stuff from evil spirits. And James is saying modern computer virus can be very small. They contain just a tiny bit of code that will open the connection so that the bot net can attack your computer once they know your IP address. Aha, basic firewall rules block all incoming at, at win. All right, so James is kind of uh, helping everyone understand what I'm trying to say here. All right, because the evil spirits, they can put some negative energies in the consumables and kind of act like a computer virus. So Edwin is saying pride, greed, anger, lust, delusion, jealousy, negativity, selfishness, hatred, and ego feed the dark side. Yes, and we've got a lot of this type of stuff going on right now. And those are the ones that are very heavily affected. And um, someone also said fear too, right? There are a lot of people to talk about fear. Right, there's a lot of a fear mongering, right? Fear, distrust. Yes, people spread fear, distrust, anger. Right, this type of uh, consumables, they are the ones that most easy to find all these type of negative energies, whereby evil spirits have adapted to modern life and are spreading through this these ways, especially consumables that are of negativity. This type of negativity, very common. So anything that you can think of, right along the kinds of lines of negativity. So Siafan is saying, if somebody loves to watch horror movies and say it's all fake by actors, seems that has very high level of non-attachment of the fear and negativities from the film, will this still be easy target of the entities inside the horror? So actually it depends. So, um, Everything depends on the person's likes and the person's likes depends on whether are they good people, do they, are they good people most of the times, you know, and usually good people, their likes is strong. All right. But um, the problem with this world is today, a lot of consumables is about this and we have a lot of this in our emotions. We get angry very easily, even with the people in our lives, with our spouse, 
with our family, with our siblings, with our parents because of all this negativity and um, uh, what's very common? Uh, vengeance, yes. All this is so common theme in our consumables, right? And because we consume so much of this, we kind of subconsciously, unconsciously think that it is okay. It's perfectly all right to be of vengeance, to be angry, to be distrustful, right? And to do an eye for an eye, that kind of thing. So our standards of what is good has really dropped because of um, the amount of stuff that we consume, having all these negative values and negativity kind of a theme, right? So, um, so to answer Selvan's question, you know, whether they get affected and when they watch horror movies, is, for example, do they open up their energy, right? And what kind of person are they? Are they really truly good people? And Selvan to explain herself, for example, if I took event photos and there are hundreds of people there, so quite high risk, of there are some negative energy from the venue and people. If I don't want the negativity, the photos contain to spread out and harm more people, will my cleansing photos be enough to protect the viewers online? Uh, yeah, if you know how to cleanse and of course you've learned something like that, you, you can protect to a certain degree. Now, so um, for example, if now uh, let's take several example because Selfang is a photographer right Selfang is a photographer so let's say she goes to venue she takes photograph and the photograph captures a place where there's negative energy it does not mean that just by viewing the 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 photographs of negative energy you 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 automatically get affected by evil spirits that they, they, kind of try to make you understand let's say let's say um there's an event all right there's an event as a concert all right, the concert is of a person with evil spirits. I right? happen to be the, you know, is a influencer or something, somebody very famous. All right, is having a concert and the person is possessed or have entity attachments. Now, there will be people in the stadium, right? And if the evil spirit is a big group, they can affect all the people that are at the stadium. And if it's being live streamed to a million people around the world, right? Because everything is technology. And if these spirits know, and if they have enough numbers, they can, friends, everyone, come, come. All right, everybody is going to watch and they're consuming, they are taking this energy. And if it's live streamed, all right, there'll be energy connections like this one. There'll be energy connections um, all over, all over the world that is being live streamed. And if there's lots of people spirits over here, they will just write the energy connection because you're consuming, all right, the energy connection is strong and then boom, you get affected and you don't know it, right? But if Selfang is there, let's say Selfang, okay, Selfang has been learning like meditation and she practices Unity Chico and she's a photographer there and she take a photo of the event. Take a photo of the event and, and if Selfang is protected by the aura, all right, let's say cell phone is there. All right, cell phone is there, and cell phone is taking a picture. All right, cell phone is all right, perfectly all right. Okay, the picture may have the energies. Okay, but um, if cell phone is not affected by the evil spirits, there is a less chance. But if the if the person is looking at the photo, and if the person looks at the photo of this person. And the person keep on thinking about this person. Okay, let's say, let's say, if this person is a very sexy female artist and she was very, very sexily and dancing on stage and Stefan took the photograph, the photograph captured the energy of this person. Um, but the photo does not, normally does not cause people to get affected by evil spirits. But if the person takes the photo and the person keep on thinking about this person, so the person, Think about this, let's say female star, all right? Female, female singer that is very sexy and the person is a male and starts to masturbate. Think of this female star sexually. Then the person will be very connected energetically, very connected and energetically because he's taking a photo of this person, whether it's taken by cell phone or any other photographer, 
right? And this person is fantasizing of having sex with this female star, and then the evil spirits can come through the energy connection and poof, you get it. Alright, so things are happening this way, right? Through technology, photographs, all these, these are new stuff that uh, old people, you know, it's not talked about in the old books and everything, and I hope that um, this kind of enlightens people. I, and uh, I also hope that I'm not freaking you guys out, okay? Um, the key thing is this, be a good person, alright? Learn to reject all these things that are being consumed in are being shown as the normal in our consumables. Um, be more aware of your own emotions. Be more aware of your emotions because if you're easily negative, then your light will dim and then you will get easily affected by evil spirits. All right? So Abby is saying too much influence and promotion on TV, social media, consuming time and resources. Advice minimize if not eliminate these activities. Yeah, I, I would say so too, right? So if you eliminate these activities, you save a lot of time, right? Um, some people spend hours on Facebook or, or Instagram or TikTok just browsing through the videos and you're consuming all these and a lot of them has negative energies affecting and just the simple act of taking a break from the internet, from all this technology and Many people have reported that they feel much better. All right. So I hope I managed to answer all your questions. Okay. Um, and I would apologize if some of you are freaking out. Okay. The idea is not that. Okay. The idea is not that. This is just to educate. All right. Is to educate. And the key message is still this. If we reject negativity in all forms, in all forms, especially from the consumables, right, we are much safer. If we go back to good old values, good old values like being loving, being kind, being patient, being forgiving, it will help us maintain our energies and we will be less affected. And I hope this also help explain to people like why is the world kind of so messed up why is there so much anger nowadays why is there so much intolerance why is there so much distrust and it has really gotten worse because of the pandemic and during the pandemic the consuming of all these technology stuff has just skyrocketed i mean i wouldn't be having this recording or this online session over zoom with everyone if not for the pandemic if not for the pandemic i will still be conducting most of my events in person that is my preferred way right i i'm you know i'm i was kind of like a very you know traditional and just do things the good old ways so the good old ways still work being a good person still work being of good value still work if you don't mind being religious still works, okay? But it should be based on good values. It should not be religion, okay? If you're practicing religion, you shouldn't have any of this. Religion shouldn't use to get power, to be greedy, to create fear and distrust or anger and vengeance, no. All right, that would be something that is um, like, you know, the evil spirits are having a good laugh. You are using religion, but we have hijacked you all right, we have hijacked you and you guys don't realize it and you guys are using negativity in the name of religion and we are having a good time, okay? So, um, Shafa is asking how to marketing out good energy stuff to balance out the negative ones. Uh, there are people doing that, right? There are people who are doing a positive social influencing out there, right? Um, talk about good stuff, promoting good values, uh, less on all this negativity stuff, there are people doing that. So the more people do that, the better the world will be. All right? And self so again, do we better to be less attached to our website, telephone, email, and subscribe to some new social media accounts to protect ourselves now? Um, I'm not asking people 
to go back to the dark ages. Please bear this in mind, all right? I am just sharing with everyone that everybody adapts, including the evil spirits. So if we have modernized and we start consuming different things, the evil spirits have also adapted to it. I'm not saying that we, sh we should stop all this. And of course, if you find that it's not good for you, by all means, you make the decision. But we are living in a modern world now and this uh, modern normal lifestyle, you can go ahead and do it. But I would emphasize this. Live your life full of good values. All right, understand what is light. We talk about light. Light is all about values. A lot of people talk about light, but if you talk about light and you wield light as a weapon with anger, with hatred, that is not light. It has to be light with good values such as love, all right, love, kindness. Can we do that? Patience. How many of you lost patience with your loved ones? How many of you stopped being kind to your loved ones? This is the problem today. Now, everything takes care of itself. The light will take care of everything when we are living in good values. That's it. It's all about values. And if you have a good religious practice, if you really read about the religions, you find the fundamentals, the core of every religion, it goes down to values. It goes down to values. If you really filter the lessons that are in there from the religion, it is about values. It is not about these things. All right. This is what I would advise people to go back to. All right. So you don't, um, it's good to be less attached. Of course, it's good to be less attached to be more non-attached so that you don't suffer so much. Uh, I explain it in our non-attachment meditation class. So of course, if you too attach, um, um, we get unhappy easier. So uh, be less attached, we still of this world, we can consume stuff, not to say we cannot, but if we maintain ourselves by being really good people, all right? And being good people also works on uh, being non-attached, you can't really, we gotta let go, we gotta let go a lot of stuff. We gotta let go a lot of anger and hatred that comes from our past. Right, it's still there with us, it's causing us problems. Okay, so uh, if there are no more questions, I thank you for joining me. Okay, I hope this has um, helped everyone understand that um, these are modern times and the evil spirits have adapted too. Okay, so if you feel you've benefited, please uh, do feel free to make a donation contribution to support our online activities. It's Protected free or donation basis. And tomorrow, uh, those of you who are interested, tomorrow we'll be conducting an online session on light meditation. Same time, all right, same time, 9 p.m. Malaysian time, Sunday night. Uh, those of you in the US who uh, on the East Coast, EST, I believe, will be 9 a.m., I think, all right. But please check, uh, use Google to find out. So tomorrow, uh, 9 p.m. Malaysia time, we'll be conducting a light meditation. If you want to learn, how to maintain and strengthen your light. A very simple meditative practice will help you do it. Okay? So if you're free, I do hope to see you online tomorrow. Otherwise, have a good weekend and I'll see you again next month. Thank you. Goodbye.